Hey everyone, Baron Eastman here with Gina Doyle, UX designer for Runner. This is the Runner 14 at 7, not 6, 14 at 7 kickoff video. Hey Gina, take it away. You want to cover what's in Runner Fleet and user experience in 14.7? Sure. All right, I will start sharing my screen and go through some of the stuff we have on plan. Um, so we have a theme to focus on usability improvements um, for 14.7. So we're going to be focusing on some of our UX debt issues as well as UX scorecard rec issues. And that will just really help us improve usability around the runner area. So some of the things that we'll be focusing on are updating total counters in um, when you're filtering. So instead of having the counts only update once you refresh the page, it will just update as you're filtering. Um, improving success and error messages after deleting runners, which will allow us then to also prepare for bulk actions like bulk deletion. Um, and then some other things like some backend logic that will help us gather more information around permissions. And then uh, some audit events for runners, which will help us eventually be able to give you an event log of what the runner is doing. Then on the UX side for design, we're still focusing on um, the admin area for right now. But one of the things that we realized that we haven't put a lot of effort into is the onboarding flow for runners um, and setting them up and, and how that fits in with the whole CI like process in general. So um, we're gonna draw our attention there and it will be some cross team collaboration. Um, so we're excited to do that. So that will affect both enterprise management as well as SaaS. And then the other thing we're gonna turn our attention to is bulk deletion. So we had a lot of work done this previous milestone around stale runners, which allows us to pinpoint the ones that have not contacted GitLab after a certain amount of time. So this will allow us to start um, giving recommendations to be able to bulk delete those stale runners. And uh, I think this will set us up for a good spot in the UI, at least to be able to clear out those inactive runners. And uh, that's that's it for UX. So I'll pass it back to you, Darren. Hey, thanks so much, Jen. That's awesome. Hey, so for um, the rest of the categories on the run, I'm going to cover really quickly um, Runner Core and um, Runner SaaS. So in Runner Core in 14 and 7, obviously it's the holidays, the time period. So we're um, fo focused very tightly on a key few, a few key deliverables that we want to get out of, over the finish line. In the box category, we have two. Um, rollover bugs from 14.6 that we're still working on and that we hope to ship, wrap up and complete and ship in 14.7. The first one is the, PH, the PWS H executive bug. It's, it's failing to determine their job failure. And then the second one is the passing the standard out, out, standard out bug as well. So those two bugs, um, we started working on those in 14.6 and we're hoping to wrap those up and ship those in 14.7. In terms of features, um, a key feature first, it's actually tied to one of our Q4 OKRs, is the FIPS compliance runner, uh, FIPS compliant runner, I should say. We actually were hoping to get it shipped and wrapped up and complete in 14.6, but there's still some additional work to, um, on this issue that's uh, on this feature um, that's still in progress. And so the goal right now is to get this over the finish line and shift in 14.7. So at the end of 14.7, we hope to release the first FIPS compliant um, GitLab runner. Um, we're also working on adding, um, in Runner Core, we're also working on adding interactive web terminal support to the GitLab Runner Helm chart. And so if you're using Kubernetes, the Kubernetes is the installation piece for Kubernetes is the Helm chart, adding Git interactive web um, terminal support there. And then finally, another feature that we're working on, this is in conjunction with one of our key um, customers um, who's actually been contribu contributing a lot of code in this arena. Uh, as you may know, earlier this year, we released the GitLab Runner operator um, for OpenShift. Um, and what we're doing is tweaking that repository, making some changes so that we can actually release a sort of a generic version of the operator. And we are calling it the GitLab Runner operator for Kubernetes. So it won't be open just specific. The idea is that you'll be able to use this operator on any Kubernetes uh, installation in order to install and, and manage the runner. And so uh, for Runner Core, the key feature that we're working to get over the finish line again would be the FIPS compliant runner. And then um, the GitLab runner operator for Kubernetes are the two things I really want to call out. 
In one of SaaS, we don't have anything planned to ship in 14.7. Um, our primary focus is on an internal rapid action in terms of looking at uh, operational costs. And so that's going to be our primary focus, our top priority um, for the Runner SaaS team in the 14.7 iteration. Um, so that's it for Runner Core and Runner SaaS. If you have any questions about what's planned on this iteration plan, feel free to at me on the iteration plan at Darren Eastman. Um, and, um, and that's it. So Gina, um, I, I believe this is our last one before the holidays. So thank you so much for joining and, and helping keep these kickoff calls with this past few cycles. And I guess happy holidays and see you for the next runner kickoff meeting. I guess it'll be a new year, right? Yep, I'm excited. Thank you. Right, cheers, everyone. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.